So how do you feel about being back, Jess? Um, I feel like I've come home. That's yeah. what it feels like. It's great working with you again. Yeah, and you too. High five, sister. stuff. <laughs> Yo! <Right. laughs> um, and I've missed the character of Kat. She's a great character to play. And um, the scripts are brilliant at the moment. I was really nervous about coming back. What, what, why would you think you were nervous, though? Um, I was nervous about... Because I'd let the character go five years ago, I was yeah. worried that I'd forget how to play her again. Yeah. And also, um, walking back onto the square, what would it feel like? But as soon as I got the costumes on, as soon as I got the script, as soon as I walked onto the square, she came back like that. And working with you again, it was like it was yesterday. If it was, tomorrow, if it was tomorrow, I'd cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back playing Alfie, um, I'm, I am I love playing that character, but I love also playing a husband to her character because we really didn't get to play that much last time because we'd not been married that long. Mm. So what does the future hold though? Or more important, where do you think we've been? Because I know every time I get interviewed or get asked by friends I and family. I think they've been running a bar in uh, Benidorm. But where do you think we went when we left that Christmas day? 80 quid. Clacton? I don't know, why did I think we made it to Vegas? <laughs> I don't know! Hello? Shut up! I'm so on your eight. My character returns running away from a gang of people because she's got herself in trouble. How did you get in trouble? Uh, am I allowed to say? Yes, you can. They've been running, uh, a, they're selling dodgy timeshares. Is that what? Is that serious? Yeah. Oh, you and Alfie have been selling dodgy timeshares. I thought we had money on the bar. Uh, no, it's that. Oh, is it? Oh, and uh, she's got a gang of people. She's been um, mixing with the wrong people, um, got in trouble, and she's on the run, and they're after her, and she comes back six months pregnant. Right. And then you have been in prison, haven't you? How long have I been in prison? Six months. Whoa, work that one out for yourself, for kids. And you arrive in the square telling everybody Alfie's dead. Yeah. Dead to her. Yes, but people confuse what you say and they think Alfie is dead. Six months! Do you know how much can happen? Do you want to get inside and stop making a show of yourself? Have a lie down, have a donut, and give that big fat gob of yours a rest. I ain't fat! I ain't fat! You stupid, stupid man! So shame. Oh, shame! <laughs> What's your favourite cat and Alfie moments? Oh, I have loads. I suppose. Oh, there's a few. The condom episode was great, but that was me running. What about you? Yeah, no, but it was to get the condom to have filthy. <laughs> uh, oh, no, excuse me. I just. Oh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I suppose do it. The wedding takes some, but our wedding and also stopping you and things wedding. So what about your favourite moments? I think it was when Kat and Alfie finally got together. Because there was all that, will oh, they, won't they? Yes, yes, yes. I was getting so many people asking me, you know, when they're going to get together. And it was that scene when, when I got the script, yeah, I yeah. thought, right, now we're going to kiss. Now we're going to get together. But also... Because it's what people, it's, it's what the audience, it's what us as an audience was waiting for. They're the moments I remember. And I think that's what laid the, the foundations down for Cat and Alfie and why I hope and I think people kind of take the two characters to their heart. <laughs> Sorry, beautiful. <laughs> we are the world, <laughs> we are the children. <laughs>